Yeah, it's Centropic Growers, this is Farmer Jones again on video number 19. And just a quick look at how our cover crop's going. And as you can see, after all the rain, it's a tangled jungle. So as you know, with the principle of senescence, we want to get that down before the flowers are forming or the seeds, because that's when the plant reverses the flow of nitrogen from putting into the soil and just taking it back out. And that's not what we want. And also this cowpea, it's a little bit like lab lab, it's getting all sorts of vines, it's wrapping itself around them, like our prize trees, and it's just getting a bit tangly, so it's definitely time to take it down. So this is only about eight weeks old, this cover crop. And here we have our papayas, and incredible growth. These are not more than uh, eight weeks and they weren't more than 20 centimetres high eight weeks ago. And now they're up to my chest. Absolutely incredible. What I think's happening is it's the nitrogen from the cow pea, uh, pigeon pea, and they're also racing against the cover crop for light. So it seems like they've been, been given extra motivation to shoot up as fast as they can. And as you can see right along the row there, 50 meters, all the papaya is sticking their crowns above the cover crop. Now as we go along, we find our theme plant for this row, it's a mango row. And as we go along here, we have a brush box, uh, silky oak, struggling a little bit down there. Mango, papaya, brush box, papaya, banana and that's the pattern now have a look at this beautiful mulch it's as thick as you'd want it it's absolutely gorgeous a thick mat at least 10 15 centimeters deep all along there and i'm cutting it with my favorite tool now this is a korean hand scythe and it's awesome I get, you can get a kit from green harvest for three different sizes for about 40 bucks and this one is just my favorite tool ever um, very good for just scything the base of the plants and laying them down. And over here we have our crop alley. I likely will do this with a right on mower. It's just too long to do with a tool like that. Do it quickly, five minutes it's done. Rake the hay to one side, disc up the rows, flatten the rows, tilt the rows on the top just with a small 20 millimeter tilter depth. Seed them out, rake the mulch back on, plant your seedlings in, and then you've got a triple planted row. So if that's given you some good ideas, let me know in the comments below. Click subscribe and like, of course. And this is Farmer Jones signing out for video number 19 at Fig Tree Organic Farm.